there are two leaders whose lives are threatened. I will put it in that way. Good morning and win forever. Now, in this episode, this particular one, I want to talk about this one event that had its own space. Uh, Dr. Ian Lovu and uh, Prophet Hubert Angel were two prophets that came in the inauguration of President William Ruto in Kenya, in Nairobi Kasarani Stadium. Now, they were there to witness because they had prophetically uh, uh, declared what to say they had prophetically uh, came in with the information that against all odds, of course, there was no sign of the deputy uh, president then, uh, same uh, Dr. William Ruto, uh, was actually, uh, let me just say, he had no chance of winning the election according to the people's opinion. But then these two prophets then, I'm zeroing into them because they spoke it uh, openly. They spoke it openly and they were talking about it and they said God has spoken to them about this and it happened the same. So during the inauguration, they were part of VIP guests. I want to zero in into uh, Dr. Ian Lovu's latest prophecy. At the present moment, we are almost at the tail end of the first shaking of Kenya. There is a second shaking that uh, we keep seeing in the spirit. And this second shaking, it may involve, uh, I don't like to, to sound like a pair of bad news, but uh, our brothers and sisters in Kenya, they need to pray for their leaders. They need to do what? To pray for their leaders. Because in this other vision that I saw, we're kneeling around the Kenyan flag. You know the Kenyan flag? <clears throat> there was a force which we could not see, which was reducing the flag until it is halfway, until it is half staff. Are we clear? We're crying until we're sleeping on our stomachs. There were, there were many intercessors, not just a few intercessors, but we were all sleeping around, you know, on our stomachs, kneeling and crying before God, for God to preserve the people who are critical in there. There are people who are needed, who are not supposed to, to vacate this life, especially at such a time as this one, because so many things are not yet balanced there. The, the situation is still precarious. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? The situation is still what? Precarious. So that which has been communicated by other intercessors, the Spirit of God is saying we must not despise the message. There is a threat. There are two leaders whose lives are threatened. I will put it in that way. So all the prominent leaders there, be they government ministers, people in the presidents, senior people in the, in the defense forces, or wherever you have got very senior leaders, people who are senior leaders in politics, uh, in all the political science, no matter how many they are, they need to be prayed for. Hallelujah. They need to be prayed for, because if this thing that we have been seeing in the vision takes place, it will cause so much imbalance in that nation and there's so much instability in that nation. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? So as intercessors, we need to pray for, 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 for the leaders not to die, for God to extend their lives. And uh, very much of a stern warning. I want you to come into this prophecy and see. An important relationship for a nation like Kenya just falling apart before our eyes. Now, what do you see? What do you think? What do you say? Go to the comment section and talk to me. And this is your favorite channel, Blevoy TV. I'm Timothy Profitable, your host today. God bless you. If you have not subscribed, please don't go without subscribing. 
see you in the next episode.